Hi, this is uh, Dan from Dusty Cartridge, and I'm here at E3 with one of the creative minds behind Wildstar, a game that I'm immensely looking forward to. Hi, how you doing? I'm Matt. I'm the creative director and art director on Wildstar. All right, nice and simple. I like to start off with an easy one. Maybe you could give us a little bit of info about what you do 9 to 5. What's a creative director do? Uh, well, the first thing is nothing is 9 to 5 in this industry. I think as everybody would tell you. It's more about like 9 to about midnight. Um, well, mostly uh, it's just kind of overseeing the daily development of the game. Um, I'm kind of split into three areas. Uh, uh, a lot of it's reviewing art and kind of giving feedback and making sure the quality level um, is there and that we're, um, everybody knows what they're doing and um, you know making sure all my leads know kind of what's going on. So it's a lot of meetings, a lot of reviewing of art. Um, we don't let one asset go into the game without a review process, so um, it's pretty intense. Um, and then on top of that, I have a lot of high-level meetings with um, our kind of upper creative staff, which is our, our lead uh, narrative designer, our design director. And we kind of plot out what's coming up in the game. Um, we also go into the game and look at how things were executed on and review and give feedback and give some pointers. And we say, you know, we'll go around the game and we'll be like, is there enough personality here? No, okay, what do we want to do? And then we'll, you know, we'll kind of give the feedback to the team. Um, and then the third part of that is I'm also heavily involved with the marketing of the game. So um, the development of the trailers, art for shows or magazines or ads or the website. Those trailers are exceptional, by the way. So kudos to that if you're overseeing those. Uh, actually, I'm a little more hands-on with those. Like uh, we, have, we have a Cinemax team that uh, does all the, the dirty work, like the hard work of animating and everything. But uh, me and two other guys, we write all the scripts for the trailers. They're really good. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's a lot of fun. Um, the really cool thing about it is uh, at Carbine, we do pretty much everything in-house. So we don't just like farm it off to another studio and then we just get it back. And we, you know, we create it from the beginning to the end. Like literally, we edit the music. Every last second of that thing is all done in-house. So very, very, very hands-on. Yes, very hands-on. I'm a control freak, so <laughs> what do you want? Uh, well, look, maybe you could just tell us a little bit about what you're displaying here at E3, what we've got, or what Carbine has on show for Wildstar at the moment. OK, so um, our, what we're showing at E3, uh, we actually showed this over at PAX East um, in Boston um, a few months ago. Um, we haven't shown it on the West Coast yet, so we wanted to give people a chance to get some hands-on. Um, we're showing off uh, the Dominion races, which are the Makari, the Drak, and the Draken, and then we also have humans on Dominion that are playable. Um, showing off the zone that we call Deradun. Um, it's kind of a hunting ground for the Draken. The Draken, they're almost like predator. You know, they they want to kill and hunt the most dangerous beings in the in the universe. I, I heard uh, Deradun described a little bit as like a safari. It, it, it's a lot like a safari, like an alien safari. So you get one part safari, um, it's probably another part Jurassic Park, and another part just kind of like crazy alien landscape, and you mix all that stuff together, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so the races that are available to play, uh, I played a little bit on, what are the, the bunny people called? What are they? Uh, the bunny people. Uh, <laughs> everybody loves the bunny people. Yeah, I know, right. Um, the bunny people are called the Orin. Um, and technically, they're not bunny people. You could actually switch out their ears. They're kitty people. Uh, I, I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah. Um, so, so I don't think we've shown this off in in public yet. Okay. Um, but the Orin have we have a lot of different customization for the Orin. So you could do the kitty ears, the bear ears, little you mouse bear. ears. Yeah. That's and actually, we have little bat ears, <laughs> and also I think there's little like Pegasus. Uh, wings that you could put on your head. As That's well. amazing. I didn't know you could do that. Any other really cool customization options with any of the other races? Oh, there's tons of stuff. Uh, we just want people to have fun and be able to really, you know, get into their characters, get into the game. Uh, the Makari, which are our robot race, um, their faces are really cool. You could kind of be a Cyclops. Um, you could be one that has your face plate pulled off and it's all exposed. Um, with um, you know, humans. We ha we try to do some crazy hairstyles, but they're they're pretty standard. They're they're your uh, bread and butter race. 
Uh, so like Dragon Ball Z hairstyle? Yeah, uh, yeah, we have a lot of that stuff too. <laughs> yeah, we want to appeal to everybody, right? That's good. Um, Grand Hawk have cool stuff, like uh, they have rock hair. So um, they also have rock beards and they, um, we also have uh, plant life for their mustaches and everything. So we just have fun with it. So high-end raids for players who have like clocked the game 10 times over, one of each character, that sort of thing, is a pretty big uh, aspect for you guys, like making sure that there's enough content for the hardcore, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, so we like to call that Elder Game. Um, it's stuff for everybody. Uh, we've talked about like our PvP, uh, especially our raids, um, that we kind of want to bring it back to the hardcore, you know? Um, we feel like we, there's something for everybody. If you're a solo player or you're a more casual player, you're probably going to be more into the world story and the Elder Game, which will be tailored toward you. It's not going to be super difficult. Yep. Um, but, you know, raiding, you know, it started as this hardcore thing, and over time, um, it's come, becoming more casual. Uh, I mean, are you referring to, well, like World of Warcraft, the way that it basically was for the elite, and now you just show up, receive loot? Yeah, I mean, like, and, and, and it's understandable, too, because they, they have such a huge player base that they want pe more people to be able to play it. Um, so you got to cater to your player base. I mean, that's one of the things we do at Carbine is we get feedback, and if, if our players were like, we hate hardcore raids, um, then we would probably soften them up a little bit. But um, the player response and the, the press response to our 40-man hardcore raids coming back has been phenomenal, and people are really excited about it. So we have that. Uh, we also have another hardcore aspect of our elder game called War Plots, which we've mentioned, but we haven't really talked about in depth. Um, so I can't talk too much about that, but it's really exciting. So that, briefly, that's the sort of uh, PvP bases versus bases sort of thing? Like, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well, unfortunately, it looks like we're running out of time, okay. and I don't want to take up too much more of your time, so no, is there anything great. that uh, you'd like to talk about specifically, maybe something I haven't asked, something that you're keen to mention? Um, I mean, I would love to talk about everything, but they'll kill me. I, well, I mean, you, you get the creative guys, they just love to talk, I find that. Um, I'd just like to say, you know, um, we have some very exciting announcements coming up in the next few months. Um, I'll just say we haven't announced all of our races and we haven't announced all of our classes. So just, you know, keep an eye on Wildstar and that information will be coming out hopefully pretty soon. Thank you very much for your time. It was an absolute pleasure. Thanks.